having played against him at the time, how good was Michael Jordan on the Washington Wizards? <laughs> Pumpfake Jordan? Very <clears throat> same. Man, Pumpfake Jordan was still lethal. <clears throat> Man, I thought I was... <laughs> It's one of them, you know, I, and I remember my first time playing against us. I didn't get the luxury of playing. I got in the league in '98, but it, was, it became a lockout and he retired. Mm. So I was so distraught, you know what I'm saying? And she got a chance to play against him, you know what I'm saying? When they was winning championships, so she got his, his experience was going to be different. But I remember for me, I got a chance to play against the Washington Wizards, Jordan, for the first time, and I remember I was stoked. I was so excited and happy, mm. and I think we ended up. Did we end up beating him? We might have beat him. Mm -hmm. you know, we beat him in time, Chicago. But, and, he, and he didn't have the best game, but, you know, I could just, I remember the first time I was on the island with him, I was like, I was just so excited. And, you know, he kind of got an angle on me and he got the pump fake of me and getting to his shot. And he still had 20 something on us. And I was just saying to myself, like, man, 87 Jordan was probably so different than, than 2000. And, you know what I'm saying? Right. I think, I think it might have been 2001, 2002 Jordan. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so you just couldn't imagine. So I was just like, man, but I was just thankful to play against him. But he wasn't, he wasn't as fast, but he knew how to get to his spot. And he was so deceptive and mm -hmm. he just knew how to, he just knew angles and he still killed us or whatever. But, you know, it was, I, I can only imagine playing against the 90s Jordan when he was really like had that pop and had that athleticism. It would probably been totally different. Oh, it damn sure was. I did both. And so it damn sure was, you know, in that, that 95 year, my rookie year, um, you know, we would have faced them in the playoffs, but when I was out there, you know, United Center, that's when they was in their heyday, and, mm. you know, you going in, din -din 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 -din, <laughs> and they playing the music and got the banners up with all the smoke. you like, damn, this shit looked just like this on TV when I was watching it. You know what I'm saying? And he was a phenomenal player then, but I think he was a little bit more dangerous when he was with the Wizards. He, he didn't have the athleticism that, we were used to seeing MJ have, mm -hmm. yeah. but I, I, I'm with Bonzi. His angles were more, a little bit more sharp. You know, you wasn't going to move, and he was a strong two guard, mm -hmm. uh, two three guard. You wasn't going to just move him lightly, and his his shot became more dangerous. You yeah. know, he he became more solid as as that veteran player when his years in Washington, as the question stated. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was like one of them don't leave him open. Yeah. Um, don't leave he, Michael Jordan open. Yeah, he's still out there talking shit. Oh, my you know goodness. what I'm saying? <laughs> he talking yeah. shit, but he dropping dimes, and yeah. you know what I'm saying? It was like, damn. But the only thing he was missing was, yeah, the hop. <laughs> that's that's it. That's it. You know, his jump shot was still killer. Yeah. Um, and you know, but the thing I liked about it with him there, you seen that he was that veteran player where. He was even out there on the floor coaching and guiding all the young players. You know, Rip, Ronnie Prophet, you know, guys running around. He was still coaching those guys. Mm. Yeah.